it in also kalu um welcome to my youtube channel api codes so um we'll be talking about how apis are implemented and how um you can use it in your businesses and make life easy for your customers so um let's go down to it we previously talked about um, withdrawals and accepting payment now we're currently going to look at um identity verification now identity verification is actually very very important because it makes you um it improve your kyc process so you actually know your customers better and actually makes you to confirm if the account detail being provided by a customer is a valid one so you can get a valid account details and you could actually um, improve your kyc system by checking if the account number um, matches that which the customer has actually provided previously so you can use it and um let's see how it goes very easy so um let's go down to our browser so we have this so um you can see it here the api validation the account validation apis allow merchants confirm the authenticity of customers account before sending money to the customer so we can actually look at it there are two apis a resolve account number and account validation so this one only works um for nigeria and ghana while this works for only south africa so you can use it for personal and business accounts why um you can use this for personal bank accounts so um you can see it here then we'll now look at it. it's actually very free it's free so it's available for businesses in nigeria and ghana this resolve account number so let's go down to it and see how it, it has been implemented already and this is the response that comes for status through account number results um, account number this account number account name then bank id you can see the bank id there so it's free of charge to use very free so um let's dive straight into the code and see how it goes okay so this is the um this is the normal file structure we've been working with the back end the front end the vendor folder that holds all the um, the dependent dependency are installed yeah to hold everything and um we we have the emv file so we have the emv file so we have this then we have the key signal so that my those are test keys so we have this composer.json we have composer the lock we have the config file so at this i actually created a constant from my env file to assign the variables to um, the constant so i can use it elsewhere so go down to my back end code here i have it i have my config.php here so this is this here i called it here then this vendor package here so um okay let's just go down to it straight up so this is it here and um so i get all banks here then why i need all banks because i need the bank code in this um, resolve account number so i need the bank code here and i also need the account number so i'll pass both of them in an array here then break it down here so and i have my bank code and account number so then i return the response so um i'll go down to my front end and look at it how it goes so check for the account number and check for the banks so let's look at it so i have my uh, banks here and bank is an option a select um, input so you can see it here I actually check if it's an array then um, call pick the code and the name so the code is the value <coughs> sorry about that so so this is it i can just do resolve okay so or submit so um so that's for that so i have my success message here and i have my error message here just a very simple um, boilerplate for the implementation so um don't forget to um this is Nigeria, Ghana is G H E. So you could actually just do G H E. So, so I'm in Nigeria, so I would like to verify the person to get all the banks in Nigeria. 
so i'm done okay so let's go straight to it and see how it has been implemented so i'll go to my browser and um, let's see so i have it here so i'll put my account number then um my recipient bank this then i'll check sorry so awesome so account number result so um so it's it's actually sent you a message i'm only sending the message out and the data has this account number account name and bank id so with this you could perform other duties after this in your um, kyc flow so that's it that's so i hope you enjoyed the lecture and um i hope to see you in the next one we'll be talking about the account validation that happens for businesses in south africa thank you very much so please sorry please like subscribe share and um, let's keep building awesome apps thank you